Itt én Józsi vagyok és köszöntök mindenkit ebben a mai videóban pedig folytatjuk a The Wolf Among Us epizód 2-vel a Füst és Tükrök című epizód Bele előző epizódban sok minden történt mindjárt meg is nézzük és mi az itt? 73 x a oldat Én ezt a videót rögtön utána veszem fel. Mr. Toad. Azt szeretném, ha látjátok. Ezt tettünk az előző részekben. Nulla kis király. Do something big before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject! You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! No! I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and, uh... They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. <laughs> you said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lap dog. They come sniffing around this part of the Rich fucks in the woodlands need a shake down. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. We've had it worse, but not by much. Yeah, but she's really getting shook in bed. And that, that old ass farkas, a rigby. Rigby, can I get that? Now the games. Then we touch ya. Just let me finish all that and then. Mr. Wolf! You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this. Which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. 
No? Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. We have to go now. What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up! Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, uh, found the woodsman night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Okay. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. Okay, well, I just can't believe this is really yeah. happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Yay. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. I 
azért ez kicsit durva volt. De oké, okay, értjük. Nem is én értem. Az I came down. Apartment deal then. I met a maid who asked my trade. Sailor John said I. And away you sent he, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't okay, you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. I know you know something. And we can't let you go until you tell us exactly what that is. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. I asked for you at the bar and your friends acted like you weren't there. Why would they do that? Look, I got nothing to say, so just, just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. I just want to talk, see what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. Can I get that sandwich? What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me now why your friends covered for you? They're scared of you. That's all there is to it. And they didn't want trouble for me. I didn't kill nobody, all right? I didn't. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. Why? 
I have... I have to take a piss, I think. Oh, Loosen these, will ya? I ain't going nowhere. Come on, man. They're cutting off circulation. <sighs> Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Woody, just tell us what you know, so you can go home. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be... As a she, that's it. Not Snow. I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Who were you talking about, huh? Who? It was my own fault, but... It's not about the killings, it's not! Nem akarom megütni. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Woodsman, you gotta talk to me. Because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. But you think I don't know what that feels like? To be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. But I don't believe this. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? I can't... Just... Just let me go. Please. One down. I'm not ashamed. You don't to somebody. The girl. It was... Faith, all right? Faith. Faith? This is about her? No. I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off! What did you want to happen? Who was supposed to show up? Help me help you, Woody. Let me get you out of here. <laughs> I'm getting pretty sleepy, Sheriff. Looks like your good cup game is played out. You're better than this, Woody. Just help us. i tell you something if there was something to tell. Come on, Bigby. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. Ow! Fucking Christ, I'm tied up here! Fuck! Who were you expecting? Bigby, really, this has gone far enough. Who was it? Tell me. Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is... Uh, Holly's sister. No! Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah, detective. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Bitch Faith didn't have any decency. So la -de fucking da congrats. You cracked the case wide open, shithead. Sheriff, that is it, okay? I just... I have to put a stop to this. I warned you earlier and you haven't listened. And now it's just truly gone too far. The man has rights. 
His rights are on temporary leave. Bluebeard, that's enough now. You don't give a shit about the woodsman's rights. You just don't want any heat on you. You're not thinking of the bigger picture here. You never think out the ramifications for things. Beating information out of someone yeah, will simply never get the people aligned with us. I dare say this is the exact kind of infantile rashness that got Miss White killed. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now! That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. 
myself. Right. <laughs> TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Amira, uh, finish! Cancel! Oh, what the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. I wonder if so you've got nothing to say for yourself, then? People get called in for questioning, and they get beaten to a fucking pulp? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> oh yeah. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know. If anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. 
Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <clears throat> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. No, I expect to get one. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. You want to know, kid? How about you? Why are you going down there? I have. What's that thing to come around? Thank <laughs> you.